All right, so on this slide, we're going to be talking about distribution and our distribution tools are, uh, they're all going to be in your properties here. When you select multiple things, you'll see that the distribution tools and alignment tools will pop up. Now, what you're probably going to have is these three little dots right here are going to need to, uh, you're going to need to click on those so that you can see all the distribute ones because we're not using align, we're using distribute. Um, if you can't find these, you can always go to window and then you can find alignment under. Oh man, I always forget where everything is. It's not alphabetical like in the other ones. Under object and layout. There it is. Uh, if you do align, this whole panel will pop up. So distribution just means that everything's equally spaced. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I want these evenly spaced. So I select this group right here in four. And you can do that with shift as well. If you hold down shift, you can just keep clicking or control. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then you click on this one. You'll see that they uh, are now equally distributed. The spacing between them is now even. So that little gap in between. I'll do the same thing to these four and I'll click on this one. And you'll notice that there's a bigger gap here, and that's because this guy is more to the left than this one. So probably for the sake of uh, keeping this looking good, I'm just going to go ahead and move those to the side. Let's do that again. And I'll just use my margin for the left and the right, and that will give you an even distribution. Let's do the same thing to this guy. I'll just put him right up there, and then we will do that. All right. Now. Same issue, uh, horizontal, sorry, vertically. I'll select these three and then I'll click on this one and it'll do a vertical distribution. We'll do these three. And we will do the rest of them. Now you might be getting different results and if so, I'll tell you why. Uh, that's because your images are being distributed to the margins of the page, which is kind of, I think, maybe the default. So that's fine, too. I just want you to know the difference. So if I select these three, you'll see that under a line, it says, what do you want to align them to? Is it the selection? If that's the case, they'll distribute equally to each other. But what if I say the margins of the page? Now, when I hit distribute, It'll actually take this guy and push him all the way to the top and this one all the way to the bottom. Move that over a little. So let's do the same thing down here. If I select these four and I uh, vertically, oops, I was doing that to the page, and I distribute those uh, evenly, it's going to do it with the margin. So it'll make sure it touches the margins. Same thing with these ones. Let's, oops, room one. That was not what I meant to do. There we go. Select these guys, select these guys. And now you can see everything is very evenly spaced and it's very orderly. So I want you to go back and forth and try uh, the difference between selection and margins. Um, you might do something with key object or page or spread, but generally we're just going to select uh, those two for alignment. 